Have you ever faced a door slammed shut in your face only to find it was the best thing that could have happened to you? Well, today we're diving deep into the art of turning the tables on rejection, inspired by none other than the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius. Imagine you're in a world where every no doesn't push you down, but propels you forward. Rejection, a word that often brings a sting, can become your stepping stone to greatness. It's not about tricking fate, but understanding that sometimes the universe's no is a hidden yes to something greater. So, are you feeling overlooked, ignored, or undervalued? It's time to flip the script. In this video, we'll unpack 13 powerful lessons that teach you to harness the power of rejection. We're not just talking theory. These are practical, real-world strategies that you can apply in your daily life. Before we jump in, let's make sure this wisdom reaches as many people as possible. Hit that like button and ring the notification bell. It tells YouTube you're finding value in what we're sharing. Now, let's get started on this transformative journey together. Ready to turn your rejections into your greatest victories. Number one, ignore them. When life hands you the cold shoulder of indifference, don't shrink back, rise above it. Ignoring those who ignore you isn't petty, it's a powerful statement of your self-worth. Imagine this, someone decides you're not worth their time. That's their loss, not yours. By choosing not to engage, you're saying, I am worth more. It's like turning a mirror toward them, silently reflecting their behavior and showing them you're unaffected. Now, how do you do this without losing yourself in bitterness? Simple, focus on your life, your goals, your happiness. Dive into activities that enrich you, whether it's reading, sports, learning a new skill, or just enjoying the company of those who do value you. This isn't about getting back at someone, it's about reclaiming your energy and investing it where it matters. Sometimes it stings when someone ignores us, but instead of dwelling in that pain, use it as a catalyst for growth. Build a fortress of self-respect and let their indifference bounce off it. You're not just surviving their rejection, you're thriving despite it. This approach doesn't just show emotional maturity, it's a testament to your inner strength. Remember, your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Stay true to yourself and let your actions speak louder than their silence. 2. Don't react emotionally. Rejection can sting, making you want to react, to let your emotions run wild. But here's a secret weapon from the Stoic playbook. Calmness. When someone brushes you off, it's tempting to let frustration or sadness take the driver's seat. Stoicism, a philosophy as relevant today as it was in ancient Greece, offers a different path. It suggests embracing a composed, thoughtful response. This isn't about suppressing your feelings, it's about not letting them control you. When you're ignored instead of getting upset or seeking validation, take a step back. Ask yourself, why is this bothering me? Often, it's not the rejection itself, but our own insecurities that hurt us the most. Here's where we need to get practical. You're being ignored. Breathe. Reflect on why this moment isn't defining you. It's just that, a moment. Stoicism teaches us to focus on our actions and responses, not on others' behavior. So stay polite, stay kind. If you feel like reaching out, do so with genuine concern, not expectation. This approach isn't about being passive. It's about being the master of your emotions. It's recognizing that your self-worth isn't tied to others' approval. Your power lies in how you respond, not in how others treat you. That's a game changer. Adopting this mindset isn't easy, but it's transformative. When you master calmness in the face of rejection, you're not just handling a tough situation, you're growing. You're learning that your inner peace doesn't depend on external validation. It's a journey towards self-confidence, where you learn to value yourself independently. By doing this, 
you show real strength and resilience. And guess what? That's incredibly attractive. People are drawn to those who are self-assured, those who don't crumble at the first sign of indifference. So, by staying calm, you're not just coping, you're thriving. You're becoming someone who can face rejection and turn it into a stepping stone for personal growth. That's the stoic way. Three, remove them from your mind. When faced with rejection, harnessing the art of detachment becomes a powerful tool in your arsenal. This isn't about forgetting or pretending the rejection didn't sting. It's about channeling that experience into something transformative. Start by acknowledging the rejection. Feel its impact, but don't let it anchor your thoughts. Like a skilled sailor navigating rough seas, use the waves to steer you forward, not to capsize your boat. Transforming rejection requires a shift in perspective. Picture rejection not as a roadblock, but as a detour sign guiding you toward new paths and possibilities. Explore activities that enrich your spirit and broaden your horizons. Dive into a book that challenges your thinking. Take up a sport that tests your limits. Or volunteer in a community project that offers a fresh perspective. These aren't just distractions. They are stepping stones to self-discovery and growth. Every new experience carves out a part of you, making you more resilient and adaptable. Also, cultivate a circle of positivity. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. In their company, share your aspirations and listen to theirs. Such interactions create an environment where mutual growth thrives. Remember, rejection is not a reflection of your worth. It's an invitation to rediscover and reinvent yourself. As you navigate this journey, you'll find that what once seemed like a painful rejection was, in fact, a nudge toward a more fulfilling path. 4. Demonstrate your value. Rejection stings, but it's also a litmus test for your resilience. Instead of wilting under its weight, view it as a chance to reveal your grit. Next time you're sidestepped in a meeting or overlooked for a promotion, take a breath. Instead of brewing a storm of self-pity or bitterness, channel that energy into constructive action. Work on a project that highlights your skills or offer to lead a new initiative. Your value isn't diminished by others' oversight. It's an opportunity to shine brighter, undeterred by the shadows of dismissal. Remember that old saying, when one door closes, another opens. That's not just idle chatter, it's a blueprint for action. Rejection isn't a reflection of your worth. It's a redirection to where you're needed more. If you're passed over for a role, maybe it's the universe nudging you towards something that aligns better with your talents and passions. Use this as a catalyst to reassess and realign. What are your core strengths? How can you pivot to make the most of them? It's about creating your success story, one where every setback is a setup for a comeback. This isn't about plastering a smile over disappointment. It's about embracing the full spectrum of emotions and then moving forward with grace. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our actions and reactions. When faced with rejection, practice empathy, both for yourself and others. Maybe that colleague who overlooked you is battling their own insecurities. Extend understanding not as a weakness, but as a testament to your strength. Grow from these experiences, reflect on them, learn, and then, like a phoenix, rise from the ashes of rejection, more formidable and wise than before. Rejection, therefore, isn't the end of your story. It's a twist in the plot, pushing you toward becoming the most authentic, resilient version of yourself. Face it head-on with the wisdom of the ages and the vitality of youth, and watch as it transforms from your biggest fear to your greatest ally in personal growth and success. 5. Cut off contact. Silence isn't just the absence of sound, it's a powerful tool in your emotional toolkit, especially when dealing with rejection. Imagine you've been ignored or turned down. 
your instinct might scream to fix it, to reach out and bridge that gap. But here's where you flip the script. Embrace silence. It's not about playing games, it's about regaining your power. When you choose not to react, not to bombard them with messages or calls, you're taking a step back. This pause isn't just for them, it's for you to recalibrate and remember that your worth isn't tied to someone's approval. Let's dig deeper. This silence isn't passive, it's active and strategic. You're not just waiting, you're reflecting and growing. It's a time to refocus on your goals, your passions, your life. Think of it as a reset button, giving you clarity and strength. This period of no contact isn't cold or unkind. It's a boundary you set for your mental peace. It's saying, I respect myself too much to chase or beg. This mindset isn't just stoic, it's empowering. It speaks volumes about your self-worth and confidence. Ultimately, consider the silent message you're sending. In a world where instant responses are expected, your silence can be intriguing, even attractive. It shows you're not easily shaken, that you have a life full of interests and priorities beyond this rejection. It's not about making them regret or come back crawling. It's about showing you're solid, centered, and not easily swayed by external validation. This approach doesn't guarantee a change in their behavior, but it ensures a change in yours, making you stronger, more centered, and ready to face whatever comes next with grace and poise. Six, prove them wrong. The art of using rejection isn't simply about proving others wrong. It's about proving to yourself what you're truly capable of. It's about transforming no into your fuel for growth. Let's say someone doubts your abilities in a specific skill or task. Here's your chance to sharpen that skill, not for their approval, but to surpass your own limits. Dive deep into learning, practice relentlessly, and show up with a level of proficiency that even you didn't know you had. This isn't about a grand reveal to the doubters, it's about quietly building a fortress of competence and self-assurance. Now imagine the impact of your actions rather than your words. You don't need to announce your plans or progress. Let your results speak. If you're deemed uncreative, embark on a project that showcases your creativity. If labeled as uncommitted, let your consistent actions be your response. This silent revolution of self-improvement isn't a battle against others' perceptions, but a crusade for personal excellence. When you change, the world's narrative about you shifts too. The true essence of proving them wrong lies not in changing their opinions, but in transforming your own self-image. Your journey of self-improvement will not only surprise others, but also redefine your understanding of your capabilities. This isn't just about proving them wrong. It's about redefining what right means to you. In this journey, the greatest victory is the realization that the only validation that truly matters is the one you give yourself. Seven, go out and have fun. Life's true essence shines brightest when we step outside our comfort zones. Embracing joy isn't just about having fun. It's a strategic move to build resilience when faced with rejection. The typical reaction is to withdraw, to stew in the sourness of the experience. But here's a twist. Counter that instinct by deliberately seeking out joy. This isn't about ignoring your feelings. It's about giving them a new playground. Whether it's exploring a new hobby or revisiting an old passion, the act itself becomes a statement of defiance against the weight of rejection. Humans are social creatures, and there's immense power in shared experiences. In your journey to leverage rejection, remember the value of your tribe. Invite friends for a hike, join a community art project, or simply share a meal. These moments of connection do more than just uplift your spirits. They reaffirm your place in the tapestry of human interaction. 
Each laugh shared and each story exchanged is a subtle reminder that you are more than the sum of your setbacks. You're part of a larger narrative that thrives on connection and shared resilience. Here's where the real magic happens. Step into the unknown. Rejection can feel like a closed door, but in reality, it opens many more. Try a cuisine you've never tasted, visit a neighborhood you've never explored, or attend a workshop on a topic foreign to you. These experiences are not just distractions, they're opportunities for growth. Each new experience adds layers to your character, making you more adaptable, more empathetic, and more equipped to handle life's curveballs. Remember, the goal isn't to forget the rejection, but to grow from it, turning every no into a stepping stone toward a richer, more vibrant life. Eight, build your social status. Imagine you're in a room, ignored and almost invisible. Here lies your hidden opportunity. Stoicism teaches us to turn such moments of rejection into catalysts for personal growth. Instead of seeking validation, focus on self-enhancement and community involvement. This isn't about climbing a social ladder, it's about climbing your own ladder of self-development. Activities like physical fitness, exploring hobbies, or advancing in your career aren't just tasks. They are your tools to carve out a stronger, more resilient self. Think about sharing your journey, not for applause, but for connection. When you talk about your interests or achievements, let it be a bridge to find others who resonate with your story. This isn't a strategy to gather followers, but a sincere attempt to find like-minded souls. By engaging in volunteering or networking, you're not just adding lines to your resume. You're weaving a tapestry of meaningful relationships. This approach is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, where personal growth and contributing to the greater good are intertwined. In building your social status, the intention is paramount. It's not a quest for popularity, it's a journey toward becoming a better version of yourself. Every step you take should be a step toward improvement, with a ripple effect that enhances the community. This perspective shift is crucial. It's not about being seen, it's about seeing yourself grow, and in turn, helping others grow. This stoic mindset is a powerful tool for navigating the modern world, turning the tide of rejection into a powerful wave of positive transformation. Nine, act as if they don't exist. When faced with someone who ignores you, sometimes the strongest response is a quiet one. It's not about being petty or cold, it's about respecting your own peace. If someone chooses to overlook you, let them. Don't waste your energy trying to catch their eye or spark a conversation. Instead, redirect your attention. In a social setting like a party, this might mean turning towards someone who values your company and starting a conversation there. It's about recognizing that your worth isn't defined by someone else's acknowledgement. In the unavoidable intersections where you must interact with this person, maintain professionalism. Keep conversations brief to the point and devoid of personal depth. This isn't about showing them up. It's about showing up for yourself. By keeping it strictly business, you're not giving room for unnecessary drama. It's a stance that says, I'm here for what's important, not for the play. This approach helps you stay focused on what matters, keeping you grounded and unshaken by indifference. Ultimately, if the disregard continues, embrace the power of walking away. This isn't defeat, it's a strategic retreat. It's about understanding that your energy is better invested elsewhere, in relationships and pursuits that bring you joy and growth. By choosing not to engage in a one-sided struggle, you're not just moving past a person. You're moving toward better opportunities, healthier interactions, and a more peaceful state of mind. Your response to indifference isn't a reflection of defeat. It's a testament to your strength and self-respect. 10. Give them the silent treatment. 
Choosing silence in the face of indifference isn't about getting the upper hand. It's about maintaining your dignity. Stoicism teaches us to use silence not as a means to provoke or manipulate, but as a tool for self-reflection and emotional mastery. When someone ignores you and you respond with silence, let that silence be a period of introspection. It's a time to understand your feelings, sift through your thoughts, and find clarity. This isn't about punishing the other person, it's about preserving your inner peace. In this silence, there's a profound opportunity for personal growth. It's not about shutting down, it's about opening up to yourself. Stoicism encourages us to use these moments to reflect on our virtues, our values, and how we want to engage with the world. It's a chance to ask ourselves, why does this bother me? What can I learn from this? How can I grow? This kind of silence is constructive, not destructive. It's a moment to reinforce your character and align your responses with your principles. So if you choose to remain silent, let it be a conscious choice rooted in self-care and wisdom. It's a decision to avoid engaging in behaviors that are beneath you, like manipulation, revenge or pettiness. Instead, it's embracing Stoicism's call for temperance and self-control. By choosing not to respond, you're not just ignoring someone else. You're attentively listening to yourself. It's a practice in maintaining your composure, focusing on your personal journey, and embodying the Stoic ideal of serenity in the face of adversity. 11. Don't beg for attention. In the face of indifference, the Stoic way isn't to beg for attention. It's a call to anchor yourself in your own self-worth and independence. When someone ignores you, it's not a cue for you to perform louder for their gaze. Instead, it's an opportunity to turn inward and reaffirm your own value. Stoicism teaches us that our self-esteem shouldn't be a pendulum swayed by others' attention. It's about being firm in your own self-regard, knowing that your worth isn't up for negotiation. Engage in your passions and pursuits with a heart full of self-sufficiency. It's not about showing off to make someone realize what they're missing. It's about realizing for yourself what you bring to the table. Indulge in activities that fulfill you, connect with people who appreciate you, and cultivate a life that makes you proud. This isn't a passive act. It's a vibrant, active embrace of your own life. It's about being so involved in your own growth and happiness that the need for outside validation starts to fade away into irrelevance. So, rather than chasing after fleeting attention, invest in yourself. Build a life that you're content with, independent of how others perceive it. Let your confidence and self-assurance be a byproduct of your personal development and achievements, not a show put on for an audience. This stoic approach isn't just about dealing with rejection, it's about transcending it. By focusing on what truly matters, your own journey of growth and fulfillment, you turn rejection into an opportunity to strengthen your resolve and deepen your understanding of self-worth. 12. Be kind but emotionally distant. Even when faced with indifference, choose to respond with kindness but keep your emotional world fortified. This isn't about being cold, it's about protecting your inner peace. When someone ignores you, it's natural to feel hurt or frustrated. However, Stoicism teaches us to greet such moments, not with emotional turbulence, but with a composed heart. Offer a smile, a polite greeting, or a simple wish for a good day, but do so without the weight of expectations. Your kindness is a gift, not a transaction. Maintaining emotional distance is not about building walls, it's about drawing lines. It's understanding that while you can control your actions, you cannot control how others respond. This distance is not a sign of weakness, but a mark of strength and self-respect. It's a conscious choice to not let someone else's actions dictate your emotional state. By staying kind yet detached, you're saying, I choose not to let your indifference upset my balance. This approach doesn't just protect you, it empowers you. 
This path of kindness, combined with emotional detachment, is a powerful embodiment of stoic wisdom. It's a balance that allows you to interact with grace, yet stand firm in your own emotional integrity. It's a demonstration of respect for yourself and for others, a testament to your maturity and understanding. This way, you navigate through life's rejections not with bitterness or hurt, but with an unshakable sense of inner tranquility and dignity. 13. Don't reveal your struggle. When someone ignores you, the temptation to show your struggles can be overwhelming. However, Stoicism teaches us the art of maintaining our composure. It's not about pretending everything is fine, it's about internal resilience. Displaying that you're unaffected isn't a charade, it's a reflection of true inner stability. Continue with your life with the same vigor and determination as before. It's not a performance for others, but a testament to your own strength. This approach isn't about denying your feelings. Acknowledge them, but don't let them be the captain of your ship. Let calmness and self-assurance be your guides. It's about controlling what you can, your actions, your responses, your demeanor. By continuing your life with confidence, you're not just showing others your strength, you're reminding yourself of it. It's a subtle but powerful way of asserting that your sense of self-worth is independent of others' opinions or actions. In essence, by not revealing your struggle, you're embracing the stoic philosophy of emotional resilience. This isn't about hiding your emotions, it's about managing them in a way that maintains your dignity and self-respect. It's a demonstration of wisdom and integrity, showing that you are grounded in your own character and not swayed by external circumstances. Your response in the face of rejection is not just for the world to see. It's a mirror reflecting your own fortitude and stability. We've journeyed together through the twists and turns of reverse psychology, uncovering 13 powerful lessons on transforming rejection into a tool for your success. Remember, each no you face is a stepping stone to resilience, a lesson in Stoicism teaching us to channel our inner strength. Now I challenge you to apply these insights in your daily life. Embrace rejection not as a setback, but as a catalyst for growth and self-discovery. I'm eager to hear your stories of triumph, so hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and drop a comment below. Share your journey, your victories, and even your struggles. If you're at a loss for words, just type strength in adversity to show you've made it through our session. Your interaction fuels this community, guiding us towards wisdom, understanding, and above all, the art of turning every challenge into an opportunity. Here's to mastering the art of stoic resilience together.